Look at those gardens, you guys. Aren't they just magnificent? The lifestyles of the rich and famous. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Free Tours by Foot London. My name is Sinead. For those of you who haven't met me, I want to continue on one of the walks I did today. Um, last week, you will have seen that we did the Little Venice one. And thank you so much for subscribing and all your lovely comments about that. Now, I finished Little Venice right at this little cafe behind me, as you can see there. So what I want to do today is I want to show you how you reconnect with the Regent's Canal towpath from here. People tend to get a little lost along the way, but it's quite simple, actually. The road I am directly in front of is Edgware Road. So you just literally cross Edgware Road and we're going to make our way down here at Aberdeen Place into one of the most historic pubs in the area, which I'll tell you a little bit about in a moment. So a beautiful walk coming up. Stay tuned, you guys. It should take us about an hour, um, but I will kind of forward through the boring bits. There's a few that are kind of, well, non-eventful as such, but uh, when we reconnect back with Regent's Park, uh, it's absolutely stunning along the canal we'll be passing london zoo and regent's park itself and we'll finally make our way in towards camden so stay tuned you guys another series of walk with me with free tours by foot sinead is my name hope you enjoy okay so just to start off you guys so this is where i finished and the little warwick or uh, little venice or warwick avenue tour so when you just cross the road here you're gonna make your way directly down this area called Aberdeen Place. Now, I did have a lovely cup of coffee here a few minutes ago. I just sat down to kind of regroup, but we're gonna make our way up here. And once you find this pub along the way, now I don't intend to carry you the whole way with me because this, some of the stretches can be a little long and monotonous. So I will forward through some of those stretches, but uh, did meet a lovely chap in here, had a lovely cup of coffee. In this place if you decide you're going to do the full walk it's a good place to have a little espresso to get you going for the next section i'm going to come up here now on one of the historic pubs in the area and once you find this pub you know that you are in the right direction now so right here what is and looks like a lebanese restaurant right behind you here is actually a very cool English pub it's called the Crocker's Folly so here we have one of the most historic pubs in the area ladies and gentlemen now look at the beautiful building uh, very famous for its marble interior and its amazing grand saloon inside um, it is an exceptional marble fireplace in fact they used over 50 different types of marble inside the building so a stunning building just have a look at it alone inside the architect himself was a chap called charles warley but it's called crocker's folly and there is a bit of a legend about this pub actually a chap called frank cocker was the landlord and he decided he had a reliable tip off from somebody that the grand terminus railway was about to be built close by in the immediate area so he built his pub um, thinking he would be super rich and he would make a fortune from the railway in the immediate area. But unfortunately for him, it actually ended up being built a half a mile down the road at Marleybone High Station. And the legend goes that he, well, he absolutely went into financial ruin as a result. And he jumped from the very top floor of that building and he committed suicide. Um, that is the legend and that's where the Crocker's folly uh, name of the pub originated from but regretfully uh, he actually only died in 1904 and he died of natural causes um, he was quite younger when he did die but apparently the landlord afterwards who owned the pub he himself did commit suicide and throw himself from the top of the building but uh so it's a rather depressing story but the interior is definitely worth a look it's a grade two listed building ladies and gents but the reason we're here once you know you found the crocker's folly this is where you head right down this path here and it's by this huge electricity substation which has the rather alarming uh, sign telling us beware danger of death so we don't intend to die today so uh, this is the map then that will connect you back onto this towpath now 
it looks a bit quiet around here, but I wouldn't worry because people use this all the time. Unless you decide to take a tow barge, of course, all the way down to Camden. But uh, the walk is beautiful, as you'll see very shortly. And that will bring us around here through to and along the river here. So I'm not going to bore you too much with the details, but you'll see we're heading in the right direction when the canal is right here on your right. Now you can connect to the canal from different neighborhoods as well. You can connect to them from Notting Hill, uh, well, uh, from Portobello Road, or from Primrose Hill rather. <laughs> Notting Hill and Portobello Road, my apologies folks. I have them in my head at the moment because I intend to do a market tour this week. I'm hoping to get down there on Sunday so that you can see Portobello Road and Notting Hill. But you can connect from Edgware Road, you can connect from Primrose Hill, you can connect from Camden, you can connect from Little Venice. So there's several actual areas where you can make your way along the canal. So I'm just going to bring you across and I just want to show you how you cross the road up here. So it's a little bit of a walk, but um, pretty uneventful in this part of our connecting back down. But we'll see, we might even use this. We may just edit forward to when I connect to the canal itself and the pretty area. So thanks for joining us again, ladies and gents. Just a quick mention about the canal. It was completed in 1820. And the canal was extended, and the Grand Canal goes all the way up to Birmingham in the Midlands, in the middle of the country, but Regent's Canal goes all the way up to Limehouse in East London. And originally, um, these were tow barges. All the goods were carried, the barges were carried by horses along the way. But when it was, uh, the railways were invented the early 1800s it really wasn't turning over a profit anymore the railway terminuses of course running through london replaced the horse-drawn barges and it didn't become profitable anymore but now it's more for leisure and we uh, were left with these amazing little walkways along the canal so here we are now at listen grove and we're just going to cross over the road and that's right here across the road you'll see the main entrance there and i'm doing a bit of jaywalking which i shouldn't encourage but alas this chap seems to be stopping so we're going to reconnect here at listen grove so it's pretty obvious you'll see most people arriving back towards the canal and along here is where you will see most of the residence barges along the way. But I'm going to skip forward, folks, because it's pretty non-eventful here. I'm going to walk along the path and I'll reconnect with you when we just get to the end here and head down towards the more picturesque part of the canal, let's say. So I've just finished the end of that route, ladies and gents. And now you just cross this little bridge here. And as you can see, that will connect you right back down towards the canal. And that's how you re-enter onto the canal towpath. So, we're gonna take a lovely little stroll along the canal. Now, as I say, the maybe 10 or 15 minutes of it are a bit, uh, okay. But then it gets really beautiful as you come along by Regent's Park. So that's pretty straightforward. And it's just to help you guide you along the way and how you reconnect to the towpath. Um, what a beautiful day I picked for it, by the way. Glorious day in London. So if you're enjoying the tour so far, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps others discover the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. We have walks along the Thames, through Westminster, Camden, all over London. Visit our website for more about our tours, our travel tips, and more. We also have virtual tours and channels that focus on DC, New Orleans, New York, and more. Look for free tours by foot wherever you travel.
You can support your guide with virtual tips, links in the description, and let us know what else you want to see. Leave a comment below. Now, back to the tour. Let people come through there. And there you have it, right back on the canal towpath. Now you'll see some of the barges along the way. Now, one thing I wanted to warn you is that cyclists can be quite aggressive along the canal here, and they're quite entitled to be here as much as we are. So just be careful when you are walking through here. Another handy tip is whenever you walk under these bridges here, I'd be a little quieter because if you startle them, you might end up with a nice little surprise on your head, which is said to be good luck. So if it does happen, I'll do the national lottery tonight, you guys. Could be good luck as well. Okay, so the objective of this is to walk from Warwick Avenue and Little Venice, which we've already done a tour on, straight down to Camden. And we also have a tour on Camden done, so make sure that you like and subscribe. Several of those videos are still there, waiting for you to click on, and this will give you a little guide to London. And we will be doing maybe a tour along the canal in the near future in person. And you're all back to see us. As you can see, the canal, usually full of algae in the summertime, grows quite rapidly. But once you get under these couple of bridges, ooh, I have flip flops on you guys and I'm getting drenched here. <laughs> Probably not a good choice of footwear along the canal as long as I don't end up in the canal that's the most important thing look at the lush greenery coming up around the corner oh there's a burst pipe there whatever that is okay now we're back on track now this is what I wanted to talk to you about as well these stunning beautiful houses in behind the trees here now, Regent's Park was developed by John Nash. Now, John Nash was the favorite architect of George IV, uh, which we know as Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie, King George IV, but he was the Prince Regent because his father was King George III of England. And he had the rather unfortunate nickname of Mad King George III of England because he suffered from a liver disease called Portheria. And he became so in incapacitated mentally, he could not perform his duties as king. So his son took over as regent in everything but name. But he later became George IV. Now his favorite architect was a chap called John Nash. And he hired John Nash to develop Regent's Park and also to develop Regent's Canal. So these buildings originally were built by Decimus Burton another famed architect in London working with John Nash. But in more recent years, they were redeveloped by a chap called Terry and Quinlan, architects and associates. Now look at these stunning villas. Now I know that there's some, um, I guess it's Palladian style architecture. Now please forgive me if I am wrong. And the reason I am suspecting that is the names they gave them. Because you had the iconic, the Corinthian, the Doric, and the, oh, it'll come to me in a minute, but five beautiful villas along here. Now, I have no idea. I believe they are privately owned, actually. And if they are privately owned, we're looking at in the region of up to a hundred million pounds. But John Nash had originally, he was expected to design about 86 villas in the area. But due to objections from the Chancellor of the Exchequer, he only ended up building about 12. So five of these beautiful ones still exist. Yes, it's come to me. So Terry Quinlan renamed them. You have Iconic, there's five of them in total. Venetio, Gothic, Corinthian, and Tuscan. And we'll see them all along the way, along the river. But I mean, look at those gardens, you guys. 
They're just magnificent. All the lifestyles of the rich and famous. So stunning buildings overlooking the canal and of course they're also situated inside Regent's Park and Regent's Park is to the right of me here in the canal. But if you look off from the distance there as well, you will see the minaret of the Regent's Park Mosque in that area as well. I'm going to head down here because we are going to come to a famous bridge along the way, the Macclesfield Bridge and more on that to come in just a moment but let's see if we can get a little sneaky look and another one of the beautiful houses here. I believe this is called the gothic one a little doggy coming up behind me here so I have to be very careful as you can see there's quite a few cyclists that are coming past and I tend to be in control here oh my god beautiful home there wow in behind the trees so this is a very pleasant way to spend your day and this is a great haven for Londoners, an amazing oasis of calm along the river here. I say that now, but there seems to be a rather lively barge coming our way. Oh, no, there's a Japanese bike with his music. Now, again, I did mention before, oh, he's beautiful. You can take barges from Warwick Avenue, Little Venice, all the way down to Camden, and vice versa. You can take them in the return journey as well. But you can also rent these little boats. You're about to see, they're called go boats. And the go boats, you steer yourself. So you can bring a nice picnic. It's a lovely way to have a nice day, um, picnic with the family. It's a lovely way to spend a day. And you can only take eight, I believe, per boat. So it's a great idea if it's just a small group of you for a nice day out along the canal here. Now we'll see another one of those villas coming up. There she is. In the corner along the canal. So they're all decked out on their go boat, their picnic, steering themselves. Nice way to spend the day in London, particularly on a beautiful day like today. Let's have a look at this. Wow. So yeah, you'll be looking in the region of 100, 150 million pounds. I suspect for an amazing villa like that. Um, I recently read there some tycoon is after buying seven of the houses in Regent's Park. And he's expected to knock them all into one amazing palatial home in the park look at this little boy isn't he beautiful gorgeous little dog now paddle boarding along the way here or sup boarding is it they call it it's one of the fastest growing water sports i believe in the world there is school up here as well where kids can come and learn to canoe and learn to paddle board like this. I'm sure the barges behind them won't be too happy with them three abreast. But alas, you'll see two people there on the path just arrived down here. So there's several different directions. Here they come. Now, I mean, it's hard to believe that you're in one of the busiest metropolises in the world and people are just casually Paddle boarding. Oh, he's got a little dog with him as well. Oh. Obviously, the little doggy is used to the paddle boards. It'd be rather inconvenient if he couldn't swim. So, this is another entrance into the park here, you guys, and into the canal. And we're going to head along here. There's a bike behind me. We'll let this chap pass. This is just a beautiful walk, you guys. It's so refreshing to be here. Okay. 
he is telling the girls to get out of his way. You can say hello to them. Or the barge to get out of his way. The London water bus. We are now going to fast forward through a few stretches along this part of the canal. It's a lovely walk here, but there are many more interesting things to see ahead. The reason I'm stalling here is this is Blow Up Bridge, ladies and gents. And this was known as the Macclesfield Bridge. And there was five barges came through here. And would you believe what they were carrying on board those barges was explosives and gunpowder, ladies and gents. Now, forgive me for laughing because it's not funny. But one of the, uh, the barge, the Tilbury barge, it was known as, actually blew up. And the explosion was so intense, it could be heard from 20 miles away. It was 5 a.m., just before 5 a.m. in October 1874. And petroleum, five tons of gunpowder as well. And the entire barge blew. Now the damage was extensive. Now naturally the crew, the three men on board, died instantly. But I mean, debris flew in all directions. The rooftops of surrounding houses were blown off. There was dead birds raining down on the West End. And even today you will see these are the original pillars. Now they rebuilt the bridge and the original pillars they used and this comes from the Coaldale Iron Factory. And what's interesting here is you have these grooves on the, the barges here. They were from the horse-drawn carriages and the horses making their in indentations as they were towing the barges along. But a terrible, terrible tragedy that took place in that time and the entire bridge collapsed but imagine it was the repercussions of which was felt even as far as the west end we are going to skip just a bit ahead once more to the london zoo and regent's park sections of the canal if visiting a zoo sounds like something you would like to do then check out our blog posts for discounted tickets and things to see so now just a little closer to that bridge and we're coming up on sections of Regent's Park and London Zoo, ladies and gents. So you'll see the cages here. The last time I was here, it looked like it was dingoes inside there. Let's see if we can see any of the animals for you. The people looking down on them. I know that zoos aren't very popular nowadays, but uh, I must admit the smell of it right now, you can, it's just screams nostalgia of the excitement when you were a child heading to the zoos. Oh, the smell is so bizarre. I'm looking for the, I think it was dingoes that were there the last time, our wild dogs. So up here, some more paddle boarders coming our way. So we have the other zoo here on this side. So another section of it up here. And the Snowden Avery is also coming up, which is being extended extensively renovated here. It's what a bizarre looking structure. It used to house many African and Asian birds. Uh, named after Lord Snowden, actually, it was married to Princess Margaret in the 1960s. He designed the Avery here. But according to recent reports I've read somewhere now, Forgive me if I'm wrong, I believe it's going to be the monkey enclosure, the new monkey enclosure. And that makes sense because they're extensively renovating it there. 
and it would be perfect for them. So hopefully we'll have a little better view of that enclosure in the next hopefully a year or two. So we snowed in Avery. It's a great story about the local birds always <laughs> flying into this Avery and stealing the bigger birds' food as well. A really bizarre, beautiful structure there. And, uh, so, more of the zoo on the other side. What we're going to do is make our way down to one of the most picturesque parts along the canal. And that will take us around into the very lively, bustling, authentic, trendy, punky, alternative Camden, ladies and gents. Where anyone can be whatever they want to be. Amazing eclectic mix of people over the years. We've seen the formation of the punk movement, which also was heavily featured in the Carnaby area in Soho. So the punks, the goths, the cyber goths, the alternative crew arrived. Amazing clothing stores to suit all genres of music. All the mods would have congregated here, the stranglers over the years. Many an artist lived down here. Amy Winehouse, the ska band Madness lived here as well. It's a very student alternative vibe and very lively. A lot of great pubs, amazing outdoor food markets. You can also buy a massive amount of things you absolutely don't need down here. But you will definitely walk away dressed in new fedora hats and brand new silver jewelry and punk band bags, handbags, possibly a pair of Dr. Martens. The Dr. Martin store in Camden actually just above it is where madness the ska band wrote that amazing song, Our House, because they shared a little apartment together above that Dr. Martin store. And it's where Amy Winehouse lived. And she was a regular in most of the pubs down there. So she's, her iconic status is absolutely secure here. They have a wonderful statue to her in the stables market. A life-size statue it just shows you how truly small she actually was Amy but coming up here is one of my favorite parts and you know you're coming to the end of the canal here and you see in the distance this amazing floating red Chinese restaurant apparently Rumour has it, it's a favourite of Paul McCartney's. And Paul McCartney lives in St John's Wood. I did go up there recently to Abbey Road, so I was a bit conscious about taking footage of his house in case anybody was going to come out. There seem to be a lot of CCTV cameras around there, but I may go back up again and just take a sneaky image. So you see his beautiful home. Now you see we're coming up on it there, these lovely barges along here. I'm assuming these are residential barges that they are permanently moored. And here you have this lovely little corner area. the amazing Chinese restaurant and if you take this exit up here that will bring you back up towards Primrose Hill and the lovely village of Primrose Hill in the area which is a beautiful beautiful neighborhood very expensive real estate the likes of Daniel Craig, Kate Moss, Sadie Frost, Jude Law 
they all live up there. If I had a choice of where to own a property in London, it would definitely be Primrose Hill. No, yeah. famous Feng Shang floating Chinese restaurant, you guys. There you go. Now we're gonna just turn the corner here underneath this bridge. And you'll see the graffiti starts becoming more commonplace. That's how you know you're arriving into the amazing neighborhood of Camden. And we'll just make our way down here. Just some beautiful properties again along the canal. So thankfully it wasn't that busy today along here. I didn't meet too much traffic along the canal. But it can get very busy with joggers and cyclists. So just always be mindful. I would stay walking in one direction. I wouldn't sway paths over to left and right because it's quite difficult sometimes to hear the cyclists or the joggers coming up behind you. Oh, look at this you guys isn't this so pretty along here beautiful colors Kind of scared me a little bit, you guys. <laughs> I thought that was someone's actual leg over the boat. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, now you can hear the kids next door. That's obviously a recess in school. They're probably out having. Could it be their lunch break now? Yeah. Look at these beautiful little gardens. They're very house proud, obviously, in the area. It must get quite noisy, however, with all the traffic up and down. I think we all love the idea of living on one of these barges until it comes to the winter time. So we have a very unusual statue there of a cow looking down on top of us. Okay, it's a little forward. It's a little noisy right now with the kids there, but. <laughs> and right now, when you come under this bridge, you'll get a better view of where we're headed so we'll keep recording so you can see exactly what's coming up there's a school here we'll be approaching shortly for paddle boarding and canoeing and they do lessons so it's usually quite busy around here as well Riding up here. Brexit was sold to us by the liars, it says on top of the bridge. This is where you come into territory of a lot of political statements through 
street art and graffiti. As you can see, it's super colorful. Ducks are chilling out, getting out of the sun. And so the objective of today is for you to be able to find your pathway all the way from Warwick Castle, Warwick Avenue. Sorry, I saw Pirate Castle there in the background. Park Avenue and Little Venice all the way down into Camden Town and you will see the familiar bridge there over the canal of Camden and we'll take you right up there. So again thanks for joining us ladies and gents I hope you enjoyed this little pleasant meander. Another of our series of walk with me's around London. If you are enjoying the tours, please don't hesitate to share them with your friends. And of course, if you haven't already, maybe like and subscribe. And if you are interested, of course, in our tours, you can see they're all available on our website. We are open, our public tours are all up and our summer schedule is there. And more importantly, if you're interested in a private tour with me, you can also leave a comment underneath and we will be happy to schedule you. <laughs> on a private tour with me anywhere you like in London, folks and we can set up itineraries for you. So you can give us a list of where you would like to see in a day. We can do half day tours or full day tours. But more importantly, you know thank you for watching you ladies and gents. It's always a pleasure. I do read all of the comments and try to reply. My Boss Stephen is probably the best at the admin work and replies, but um, we do see all the comments and we greatly appreciate them. And any suggestions you may have for future tours, please don't he hesitate to put them into the suggestion and the comment section. That's where we're heading up now over the bridge and you'll see where we're heading up to. Welcome to Camden Town. So just in time for lunchtime. I'm gonna head in here to the food market, show you what's happening. Great little pub on the on the canal over there, you guys. When you've ended your long journey, you will have earned your nice glass of wine or a pint of beer if you like. Or certainly have burned the calories to head in here for many 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 of the fabulous street food stalls in the area so I'm gonna finish up here give you a quick idea around of what's available to eat and what's on offer Argentinian steak burgers the smells are amazing you guys sorry you can't join me right now for a nice burger but alas if you're here in person we'll take you right here and we may even have a little drink together so thanks for joining me you guys Sinead here in London signing out here is the barge heading down the canal Hope you enjoyed that little meander. Now you know how to get here. We'll see you soon, very, ho very soon, hopefully. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, any questions or suggestions you have for future tours, please don't hesitate to ask. Any inquiries you have for private tours as well can be put at the bottom of the video. 
Thanks for joining me as always. I'll be back very soon. Signing out from Camden. Yeah, 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 yeah.